Hey everyone, welcome back again to Gamer Promod. In this video, we are going to discuss about Ryujinx, aka Kenji NX Switch Emulator. You must be thinking, why am I using this AI voice? Well, due to certain issues I am unable to voice over, just keep it aside. And now let's talk about Kenji NX Emulator. So recently, there has been suddenly a movement about this emulator. And there are a lot of debates going on about this emulator on the internet. Because there is no official page for this emulator on GitHub. Specifically, if we say about Android version. So they have just provided a link to download the APK. So I thought to give it a try. And let's have a look to its setup, some settings, and we will try to emulate some games. But there is twist in my case. We will see that in my further video. So without any further discussion, let's get started. So I have the emulator installed on my device. If you want to download it, join my Telegram channel. Open the emulator and allow the access to your file storage. Now you will get to see the home of the emulator. Click on setting. Tap on user interface. In this we are going add the files required. At first we will install prod keys. Tap on install keys and choose the file wherever you have downloaded it and import it. Tap on yes and it will be installed successfully. Next install firmware. Click on install firmware A. Click on select file and choose the file from the storage. Wait for the file to be verified. Click on yes, and in a few seconds it will be installed. Click close. Now we will add games folder, just click on add game folder, and select the folder where you have stored your Switch games. Click on use this folder and allow and it will be added. Now just tap on input scroll a little bit. Disable the docked mode. Now tap on system, select DRAM size to 8GB or as per your interest and enable the performance mode. In the CPU, set the memory manager mode to host with the fast. Tap on graphics, scroll little bit, and set the resolution scale to 0.5x for better performance at a cost of graphics of the game. And if you want to install the custom driver, you have the option to add, you can add. But for today, I am not doing that. Now you can click on the back arrow and all the games from your games folder will be visible here. Now let's test some games here. At first, I have tried the Cynthia. Let it load the game. So the game has started. But the problem is that the visuals do not load in the Kenji Next emulator. However, you can hear the sounds from the game, Myths the text the that runs along with the storyline. So I thought this only might have a problem. So I tried another game, which is Pokemon Legends Arceus. But it had the same case. There were some visuals. But it was not completely running with the visuals. I tried fixing it, but it didn't. I tried three to four times with different drivers but had the same problem. But when I tried it running on Eden Emulator, it was running quite well. So this happened with me for these two games. Comment. If you people are try this emulator and tell me which games are running fine in this emulator. So this was the my experience on Ryujinx Emulator. I hope you people like this video. Then please consider it liking, share the video, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Till then, thanks for watching this video. Bye.